Hello, and welcome to internal laser alignment of a reciprocating compressor from Equip Incorporated. I'm Damian Josephsberg, and thank you for joining me for this presentation. In this presentation, you will learn the benefits and the procedure of an internal laser alignment of a reciprocating compressor. At the end of this presentation, you'll be provided with information on how you can have Equip come to your facility and perform a laser alignment of a reciprocating compressor. The objective of an internal alignment of a reciprocating compressor is to align the cylinder to the crosshead guide. So first, we align the distance piece to the crosshead guide, and then we're able to align the cylinder to the crosshead guide. The first thing that we have to do is set up the laser and buck it into position. We need to position the laser in the crankcase, point it out through the crosshead guide and out through the cylinder. The laser needs to be positioned so that it is in the relative center position of the crosshead guide and the portion of the cylinder furthest from the crankcase. This will ensure that we'll be able to take measurements on every single bore between those two points. At each bore position, we need to use the proper bracketing. Bracketing should be assembled so that it allows the laser receiver to sit at rest in the center of the bore and can easily move all the way around the bore freely. The probe that we use to probe off each one of the measurement positions at the surface should be no more than one eighth of an inch away from the surface of the bore when the receiver is at rest. There is a specific order of measurements that is used. All measurements should be taken at the bore furthest from the laser first, working towards the laser. This will minimize any erroneous data due to the equipment moving, foundation changes, or laser movement. Whenever we take measurements, we always check those measurements for repeatability. Each measurement position should be measured at least two times to ensure for correct data. The readings taken should closely match. This will eliminate any bracketing looseness or placement error in the readings. While the measurements are being taken, Standard deviation data is also recorded. It is important to pay close attention to the standard deviation readings. The standard deviation readings will determine the degree of out of roundness that the bores are and whether the bracketing was cocked during the readings. If the standard deviation is out of the norm, the bracketing should be repositioned and subsequent readings taken. A recheck of measurements should be performed. Once all of the measurements have been taken on the compressor, the original measurement position should be remeasured to confirm that it's still in the same position that it was at the beginning of the measurement process. If it hasn't moved, then you could be assured that the laser has remained static and all other points have been in the same position during the measurement process. In a reciprocating compressor internal alignment, the data is always viewed the same. The data is viewed with the crosshead guide fixed and the distance piece and the cylinder as the misaligned or movable elements. Moving the components while using a laser alignment process is quite simple. All the vertical and horizontal offset moves can be monitored using the laser and receiver while the components are being jacked and moved into place. For the angle movements, the correct amount of shim is calculated and placed in between the cylinder and the distance piece. For a reciprocating compressor internal alignment, an optimal move process is used. Because there are three separate components being aligned, an optimal move can be instituted. 
This means that each end of the bore train is fixed, leaving all other points labeled as movable. This movement procedure may avoid the remachining of components. The last step in making moves is taking measurements. You have to confirm the moves of any positions that you move. After all moves are final, a check of the position for all measurement points should be made. Proper documentation is part of any maintenance process. A report should be generated for any alignment. A report should always include at least two things, the as-found alignment conditions and the as-left alignment conditions. There are many benefits when using laser alignment for an internal reciprocating compressor. First of all, the laser only has to be set up once inside the crankcase and shot out through the crosshead guide in the cylinder. The beam could be interrupted without affecting its integrity. Measurements are easily taken on the crosshead guide, doghouse register fit, and the cylinder. Work can continue on the machine while the readings are being performed. All the dimension and preset information is programmed into the computer before the alignment starts, so bore deviations from centerline are calculated instantly after each bore is measured and all information is stored for the future. Why is Equip the best choice for your laser alignment needs? Well, at Equip, all we do is alignment. We're experts in the field. We're able to take current technology that's available now and apply it to new problems. We continually think outside of the box to solve problems that are out of the ordinary. We have experienced alignment engineers who are dedicated to your specific alignment needs. We will go almost anywhere at any time without almost any notice. We guarantee your alignment will be done correctly the first time. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. For more information on Equip products and services, you can contact our sales office at 407-401-9343. For any technical questions, you can contact Operations at 305-538-7101. You can always find us on the internet at www.equip.com or you could send us an email at info at equip.com. Remember, at Equip, alignment is our business.